This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 40. Bring it out. Let all things be done decently and in order. God said, let all things be done decently and in order. Right. Decently and in order. You don't believe the Bible. You're proving you don't believe the Bible. Go back to Titus 2. Go back to Titus 2. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 5. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. That the word of God be not blasphemed. Now right. go to 1 Timothy right. chapter 5. Right. 1 Timothy chapter deny. 5. No, listen, listen. Brother R. Shannon, you don't believe the Bible because no, no, you're true. not doing nothing that it says. That's not true. That's not true. You don't believe it. I said, when we're done, give you the floor. Okay, you. Now you okay. sat up and talked over the last half of the verse, you know, and then you're talking about speaking of, speaking of widowhood. Speaking Guess what? We're going to give the scripture, but you're going to do it in order. Or you can or you can go set your own camp up down the street. I don't, I don't have a camp. Okay, then why are you talking over this one? Why are you being rude in this one? Bring it out. First Timothy you chapter 5. Jump to be, verse she must be born again. 2. She has to be this born is the book again. of First Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 2. Bring it out. The other woman as mothers, the younger as sisters. I'm sorry, jump down to verse 4. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it up. Honor widows that are widows indeed. So honor widows that widows are indeed. This is what God said. This is God said talking to the children of Israel in the church in Ephesus on how to deal with the widows. You're shaking your head. You're not a widow, so I don't know what the hell. Read on. Bring it up. But if any widow. You sit up shaking your head against the scripture, you're not even a widow. No, 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 Come on. No, no, no. But if any widow have children or nephews. Let them learn to show purity at home. Piety. Give me the definition of piety. P-I-E-T-Y. Are you, a, are you a widow, my sister? Yes, she is a widow. Okay, how long you been a widow? He died last year. He died last year. So you. So then why did you... Yes, so then why did you take on this persona of being a strong, independent black woman? That's not relevant. Were you... Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Were you... Were you... Brother, brother Art Shannon, brother Art Shannon, brother Art Shannon, you're talking. I'm supposed to. No, you're not. What did you set up your camp down the street? No, I'm not. Set up your camp down the street. I'm not going to do that. Okay, then. So then you out of order. You don't believe. You hate God. Right. You hate God. You hate God. John 7. Real quick. John chapter. Give me that. He did as of God hear God's word. No, 17. I do hear his word, but you're in error. He did John 9, I think error. it's John 9, 31. What you're saying is not true to her need. I think it's John what 9, 31. What she needs is deliverance and healing. It's not just the word that's yep. written. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Bring it up. Now we know that God hears not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will. Do you do God's will? Absolutely. But you're not doing his will right now because you're talking over another man. That's right. Not, not Let all things done de be done decently error. in an order. You're in error. First Timothy 5. You are in error. This lady has a widow. She needs a new John, birth. get that real quick. John, she needs to know what it's like to be regenerated in the Holy Spirit. Come back up with the All numbers. this other stuff is not relevant to her. John chapter 8 verse 47. Let's give her the This is the book of John chapter 8 and verse 47. Bring it up. He that is of God hears God's word. He, needs to be he therefore hear them not. Because you are not of God. You don't hear God's words because you're not doing them. Teach up. You're talking over another man. Now go back to 1 Timothy's chapter 5. We're going to deal with our sister Katrina. So now my question is, how did you take on it? Come, back, come, come, up, come up real quick. It's not relevant to her. How did you take on this strong, independent? Because this is the first time you're revealing that information. How did you take on that strong, independent black woman persona? What? Why? That's the science, man. That's but your your daughters were grown. Did they not? Did they were they not birth, taking bro. care of you? Meaning, meaning. Hey, bro, they trying to take care of them. But you, right, you right. Understood. Sweetheart. You must be born again. Understood. Do you have any sons? Okay. Do you have any sons? You have any sons? You just had three daughters, right? Yeah. All praises. Okay, so you got the grandson. That's good. That's good. So guess what? God gives you instructions, even as a widow. It doesn't mean that you change your persona because you feel like you have to teach you can be an aged righteous upstanding israelite woman even being a widow because guess what in the bible our foremothers that were widows guess what they still dealt they still dealt honorably with the men they didn't feel like they like they had to chest bump a man they didn't feel like they had to over talk and do all that other stuff they didn't do that read this and then we're gonna read piety 
This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it up. Honor widows that are widows indeed. But if any widow have children or nephews, let them learn first to show piety at home. Let them show piety at home. This is the definition of piety. The quality of being religious or reverent. Reverent or respectful or honorable. Guess what? Guess what? God said you must show piety at home. Read this again. The quality of being religious or reverent. Acts of piety and charity. A synonym. Holiness. What it says what? Holiness. Ah, uh, we right back to that word, sis. We right, we right back to that word. That's beautiful. You see how God don't change from chapter to chapter? Right. But in the church, they'll say, oh, God. God changed from the old to the new. Teach, huh? God changed from, from Ephesians to Galatians. God changed. That's not true. Nah, that's crazy. That's not true. An another synonym of piety is obedient. Obedient. Not strong, independent black woman. God said obedient. Come on. Submission. Submissive. That they may be obedient to their husbands. And guess what? If it's not your husband, it would be the men in the congregation. Right. Is that the church? Synagogue? What is that? The sister is, is like, she is, your, your words are like nails on a chalkboard to the sister right now. I'm telling you straight. You think you helping, you are crushing the sister's spirit. Bring it out. You crushing the sister's spirit. Just be quiet. I know your age, brother, you think you got all the wisdom in the world, but we're reading out of the word of God. So we don't need your help. Read this again. Let me read something. Come back up with the government. But if any woman have children or nephews, let them learn first to show piety at home and to requite their parents, for that is good and acceptable before God. Because a, a sister that deals in piety, we're going to read the synonyms again. This is how uh, this is what's good and acceptable before God for widows. Come on. Obedience, submission, religious, faith. Spiritual, spirituality, holiness. God said just, just those three. The, the biblical was holy, right? Something. Holiness, submission, religious. God said those are the attributes that a widow must carry. Right. How do you get that? You understand that? How, how do you walk in that? Acts chapter 3. How, how do you, Excellent how, question. How does that work in you? Excellent question. No, Spirit, give me some rock. Right? What is that? 32. By, by, uh, by the Holy Spirit, right? Believe. And believe. 32, 32, 24. If you believe in God, if you believe in God, anybody believes the devil's what, what? Okay, so if you know, okay, so what is the proof of a brother or a sister's belief? What do you mean proof? My sister, you, you so you you, you understand proof? what you must do. Now go back to Deuteronomy 22. Seek the Lord. Get that first. Read that first, and then we're gonna get Deuteronomy 22. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 24. Bring it out. He that believeth in the Lord. Take heed to the commandment. He that believes in God does what, Brother Art Shannon? Take heed to the word. Take heed to what? The word. It didn't say the word. I'm saying the word. No. What did the Bible say? What did the Bible say? He that believeth. What did I, what did I ask you to change it? I said, what did it say? He that believeth in the Lord. My sister, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Could you? Could Sister Katrina, you notice, no, I want you to notice something. To show you notice how when Lord. we're when we dealing out of the Bible, the we're word. reading out of the he Bible, the right? Revealed. I want you to we're take note. The Not everybody that holds Jesus, a Bible has the, the truth. Bring it right. Bible. But is it Psalms, you know what I want? 119, 142. Not everybody that has a Bible the believes be the Bible. Again. Right. Be because again. he that believeth takes heed to the what? commandments. That's right. They don't change words and say, no, I know it said commandment, but I'm going to say word. No, it said commandments. It's right. It's Psalms. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 119 and 142. Bring it out. Read this. Brother Art Shannon, you're holding a Bible. What is the truth according to the Bible? Jesus is the truth. I, what, give me a verse. Jesus is the give me a verse. I don't need to give you a verse. Give me, oh, my God. Read that again. Lord have mercy. You see, we got black devils amongst us. I'm telling you straight, Sister Katrina. Everybody that has a Bible don't believe the Bible. We have black devils amongst us. That's right. Psalms 119. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy law is the truth. What? Thy law is the truth. The truth is the laws of God. That's right. 
you go down the block and raise up your voice like Christ did. Christ ain't had no mic. So you can go do that. Read it. Go back. Where we, where we at? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because now we have an understanding, my sister Katrina, that the aged women that are with us, the aged women are supposed to teach the young women how to live holy. Their behavior has to be holy. Their behavior has to be righteous, right? When we read in 1 Timothy 5, it said the widows have to have piety. Do you remember what some of the definitions of piety were? To obey. To obey, submission. It said righteous. It said religious. It said spiritual. So these are the behaviors of the attributes of an Israelite woman that is a widow. So now, go back to, Deut now, now we're going to read Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because now we're getting a part of the history, heritage, and culture of the Israelites. Right. Because it wasn't just Muhammad Ali shirts. Right. It wasn't just Nike. It, it wasn't just Jordan. Teach Jordan is not the, Jordan is not Israelite culture. Right. It's not black culture. BET is not black culture. Right. Read this, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth Unto a man. That's Brother Art Shannon, I got a question for you. No, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. I got a question. I can hear you. You don't need a mic. I can hear you. Question. Question for you. Question for you. Question for you. Read this again, and then I want you to explain. I'm going to explain. Cool. I'm going to Yo, you going to get it in your Bible? No, I'm going to explain it culturally. You don't, you don't want to flip to one verse. Why do you have it? Why do you have the Bible? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it up. I don't know what y'all got going on in Fort Worth, bro. Y'all got some spirits in Fort Worth, boy. I tell you. The woman shall not wear that which would take. Oh, no, see, now you're talking over the scripture. Read it again. Go slow. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna go slow for my brother Arshan. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Okay, just deal with the man. Deal, deal with the bottom part. One sec, one sec. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What they're referring to is the tunic garment of the priest. And under the tunic there was a type of pajama or a pant. That was what they were referring to. In today's culture, it's acceptable. A woman can wear pants according to her work, according to her... Okay, give me a scripture. Let me finish. No, no, no. It's Go ahead. Women that are astronauts, they wear a type of outfit that is a... Is she an astronaut? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You talking about all the whole world. Go ahead. But now you're not listening. No, it's you're talking about that astronauts. Verse, that verse is referring uh -huh. to the tunic of the priest. You do your research on it. Give me a scripture. No, no, you won't see that in there. You know why? You know why? Because according to the priest, they wore a tunic and they wore pajamas under that. The women were not allowed to wear that. But this that. is talking about women. No, no, I understand that. But the woman was not supposed so to wear that. So if they weren't supposed to wear that, to yeah, I need you to slow down because you're fast you're talking. To you're fast but talking you're like a snake oil salesman. I need you to slow down. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, so let me reiterate. Quiet, quiet. You're saying, no, 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 because this is my plan. You can go down the block, no. and you can. there's a corner right there, corner right there, corner right there. Say, You're not going to tell me to close my mouth. I'm, I'm telling, telling you that quiet. straight. I'm telling you to listen. Like no, you, I, you don't need to tell me to listen okay. at nothing. Okay, go ahead. I'm trying to reiterate what you said. Right. You said, the because the, the Levites. The I didn't say Levites. That's your okay, Levites. okay, slow down and... and Slow down and okay, reiterate listen. what you said. I'm listening. What I'm saying, that verse does not pertain to slacks or a type of pant like you think. Wait. Uh -huh. Culturally, the priest would wear the tunic. Under the tunic, there was a type of slack. The women a type of what? Slack. Or Snipe? Or slacks. Oh, slacks. Or pants. Okay. Okay. The women were not supposed to wear that. They weren't supposed to wear pants. Correct. Okay. That is not pertaining to today's cultural dress and garment. When That's did it change? It, it, it changed. If a woman wasn't supposed to wear pants back then, You're missing it. You're missing when it. did it change? You on, just said. Bring it you just said. The back myth, then, the priests. Back then. Back then. Okay, back when then, did it change in 2021? Teach up. Huh? I'm under asking you, when did it change in 2021? You don't know garment, bro. You don't know the I'm asking you, you, when did it change? You don't, you don't okay, know, I don't know. Don't teach me, you when did it change? You don't, you don't listen, I'm telling you. I'm asking you, when did it change? Do your research culture. I'm asking you, when did it change? Let me answer. Do your research 
you know that's culture, right? Okay. According to their Levitical priesthood, gotcha. according to their practice, gotcha. according to the keeping of the temple gotcha. and the tabernacle, the women were not supposed to wear a certain type of garment. That okay. is a fact. Not that which pertains to a man in terms of the priestly duties. We understand that. Okay. okay. Now, if you're talking about something changing in today's culture, uh -huh. let's look at what's relevant. You got saying garment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -huh. What is only a woman can wear is that which is conducive to her femininity. It does not hurt her. It does not condemn her. Because Jesus is not looking at the outward. He's looking at the heart. Okay, slow down. You're okay. Okay, cool. So if a man at that time man, at that wore time, pants, they all wore tunics, if they wore, but you they said they wore, wore pants, pants. pants. under no, the tunic, the you said they wore, so what did the other men wear? What did the other men wear? They didn't wear pants, so they was free balling up under the tunic. What the hell? What's going on in Fort Worth? Y'all in the church teaching that y'all free balling in the Bible? Lord have mercy, Exodus 28. Exodus 28. Lord have mercy. Y'all teaching in Fort Worth that y'all free balling up under your tunic. Lord have mercy, come on. Exodus 28, verse 42. Bring it out. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover. Oh, now you don't want to listen to the Bible. I'm listening to the word, brother. No, 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 because you're talking. I can talk. you talking. She talk. understands. The brother just taught her that don't, that don't, righteous don't. dress, according to the Bible. Outwardly or the heart. It's not the outward appearance. Are we it's talking? Are we talking about garments? Outward appearance, though. So, if she, so if a woman walked down the street in, in lingerie, the is she good with God? Let's be real. Come on. If she real. walked down let's, the street with lingerie, is she good with God? Let's be real. Let's Exodus twenty eight forty. Come on, come on. Who's going to do that? Exodus twenty eight verse forty two. Bring it up. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. Thou shalt wear what? Linen breeches to cover their nakedness. Come on. Thou shalt wear linen. Come what are breeches, okay. brother Otto Shannon? It doesn't matter. It doesn't what matter. are breeches? What, 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 are what, are what are breeches? What are breeches? I'm what, asking you. What, what are breeches? I don't know. What does that say? You just answered. I told you though. What are they? That's irrelevant. What are they? What are they? I'm asking you a simple question. What are they? What are they? What are they? Go back to Deuteronomy. Hold that. Go back to Deuteronomy 22. Give me that in Daniel. Hold it. Yes. God has freed us. Okay. Okay. So you said you said that only the priests. Are you saying that only the priests wore pants? Culture. Are only did only the priests wear pants? So what did the women wear? 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 I'm asking you. What did the women wear? It's a long skirt, bro. Tunic. So That's men wore long skirts. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. You got to see this. There's nothing wrong with what you Oh, man. Yo, yo, read that. Daniel 3, verse 21. Bring it out. No, no, no. It's, no, it's wrong with your understanding. You know why? Psalms 111. Hold that real quick. It's a, bro, you're in the midst of sin. That's why you cannot see the Bible. Right. He took my sin away. Go to do what is sin? Jesus took my sin. What is sin? Missing the mark. What is give me a verse? Give me a verse. You no, got a Bible. No, no, what difference it make? You got a Bible. You know the word. You got a Bible. You, know the word. you got a Bible. You're missing the mark. You got a Bible. You don't you commit sin when you Deuteron miss the mark. Come, Come on. on. You bound by the you book. Sin? Like that. Come no, on. No, no, no. I want you, you to answer, answer sin. Answer. You can hold it. Sin. I want you to answer. Sister, Sister Katrina. Make sure you call us. Sister Katrina. Sister Katrina. Our school is right up the way. Go and grab a dress. We'll be at the school at four o'clock today. You don't need four o'clock. Four o'clock. You need a heart. Absolutely, absolutely. It's her heart. Absolutely, man. yes. It's not about the garment. Yes. It's not about the garment. Hey, get a get a number. Get a contact information. It's not about the garment. You I'm asking you a question. What is sin? First Peter, first Peter two. First Peter two. What is it according to the Bible that you're holding? That you're holding. You're what is sin? What is sin? According to the word. What is sin? No, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm going to leave when I got to. Don't leave. Okay, cool. What, what is sin? Sin, according to the word of God, is missing the mark. Okay, cool. Give me a verse. Give me a verse. Give me a verse. Why are you tripping? Verse That's what it means. We know we were all slaves. First Peter 4, verse 11. Bring it out. If any man speaks. If brother Otto, if brother Art Shannon speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. That's Let him speak right. according to the Bible. On, That's why I keep asking you to bring a on, verse. Man. On, man. Because you're in the midst of sin if you don't. No, you're talk it read it again. I'm in the midst of sin. Stop if on any that. man speak, read it again. If any man speak, read it again. If any man speak, Joshua 6. If, if any, any man speak, speak. Joshua 6. If, if any, any man speak, speak. Joshua 6. If, if any, any man speak, speak. read it again. If, if any man speak, speak read. If, if any man speak, speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Joshua 6, read it again. If, if any man 
can't speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So, brother, uh, Shannon, I'm going to ask you again. Bring, bring your verse. What is sin? What's the oracles of God? What's the oracles of God? What is the oracles of God? Oh, then you close the Bible after you get a verse. Lord have mercy. Read. Go back to John. First John. We're going to give you the biblical definition. Man, you got no power, bro. Did not Jesus Christ himself use the words of God? Luke 4. He was the word. Luke chapter 4. Jesus Christ himself used the words of God. Luke chapter 4, verse 13. 18. Luke 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is up. Jump up to verse 16. Verse 16. And he came to not read verse 15. Verse 15. And he taught in their synagogues. Being glorified of all. And he came. So Jesus Christ taught in the synagogues. Right? And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue. He went into the synagogue. Go ahead. On the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And did what? And stood up for to read. What was Jesus Christ reading in the synagogue? Teach up. What was Jesus? And where can you find Isaiah? Where can you find Isaiah? Old Testament, bro. What what book? The the Bible. The Bible. I'm gonna play games with you. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. So if Jesus Christ read out of the Bible, you have more understanding than Jesus Christ. Do you have more understanding than than Isaiah uh, uh, Christ? Teach up. Do you have more understanding than Christ? I'm asking you a question. Do you have more have understanding than Christ? None of us do. None of us do. So we then why, do you, why are you trying to deal we with the talk. Bible closed? No, what was wrong with what difference does it make? Go back to first thing. Read this. Out. Read it again. It's not the letter that says it's the spirit. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the, the Sabbath day the and stood up for to read. It's the spirit of and the there was delivered unto him the book uh -oh. of and what was delivered unto Christ the book right. the book right. the book read of the prophet Isaiah you don't believe the Bible bro I'm telling you straight I'm telling you straight you Christians y'all are y'all are black devils man if y'all don't repent God is going to kill you God is going to kill you sin kill what, what, was Israel killed in the New Testament for sin? God ain't gonna kill no And when he had opened, he said, I ain't come to condemn the world. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. He found the place where it was written because he was reading the Bible. Right. Oh, so his Isaiah is different than yours? Is his Isaiah different than yours? Is his Isaiah different than yours? Go ahead. Let me answer. Please. First of all, the word Bible wasn't even in there. The Bible wasn't even compiled like you think. Number one. Number two, it was coming from a scroll that was written on papyrus, bro. Okay. It was a scroll. It was written from right to left. Okay. Left to right. Come on, man. Be real. wouldn't have From right to left. You was right the first time. What does that have to do with him reading? Because you're making some so if he was reading, why don't you? If he was reading, why don't you? I do read, man. Why you got your Why you got your Bible closed now? I can keep it closed. All right, it's in my heart, bro. But Jesus Christ Himself Yo, didn't do that. Right. Jesus Christ Himself don't, didn't do that. You're the devil, man. I'm telling you, you got Satan on you. You need to repent. First John three. You need to repent. First John chapter three. Because you lying. You First lying, John three. Verse 4. So now I'm going to give you the biblical definition of sin. No. I'm going to give you the biblical definition of sin. Can you? Can you? Missing the mark. Look Give me, I said biblical definition. Biblical definition. Give me a verse. Give me a book. Give me a book. Give me a book. Read. First John 3, verse 4. Bring it up. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Explain that. Are you a pastor? That's not important. Are you a pastor? You got a church, don't you? No, that's not important. Yes. That's not important. You got a church in the wilderness. Yeah. Bring it out. What you doing huh? now is like, I'm not No, no, no. Do you got a church? Do you, are you teaching other people? Are you teaching other people or are you a street pastor? Are you a street pastor? Read that again. Read it again. So what is that? First John 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is 
the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right. Sin is the transgression. What more? Give me an example of sin. 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 Yes, really. Romans chapter 6, 7, and 8. No. Give me, oh, now you want to give me a verse. Okay. Give me a give me an example. Give me an act of sin. Give me an act of sin. Sin is of the heart. Yeah, it's the law of sin in our members, brother. Meaning what? What that mean? Okay, I'm five years old. I'm five years old and you're teaching me about sin. Okay, come on, bro. What is sin? sin is give, me the, give me the act. Give me the act. Give me the act. Give me an example of missing the mark. Give me an example. Mark. Mark. Give me an example. Out, two things. You're outside of God, number one. Meaning what? Meaning you're outside of God. God what do you mean? God is not Lord of your life. So how do you know How do you know you're going against God? How do you know? What do you yeah, how do you know? You grieve him, bro. How? You know that when you don't obey his word. Which is what? Which is, which is Christ Jesus in Jesus. Obeying which rule? It doesn't matter which rule. It is grieving the Holy Spirit, bro. What's you, the Holy Spirit? You're trying, to limit, you're trying to limit us to regulations. It's not like that. We're no, no. Things. God is limiting you no, to regulations. No, 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 no. God no, is no, limiting no, you no, to no, regulations. Hey, John. Man, no. You're missing it. You missing God is limiting you, you to regulations. First John chapter 3, you verse 25. God is limiting you to regulations. Nah, y'all got it wrong. Y'all got it wrong. Y'all got it totally John, wrong. Three, you got it all wrong. You got it absolutely wrong on this one, bro. Because you got a personal relationship, right? That's your next. That's your next one, right? You, know you got a personal relationship. You, know you got a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus. Bring it out. Come on. First John three verse twenty four. Bring it out. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him. You must and he again. in him. Wait a minute. You Read it again. again bro. You got and he that again. keepeth his commandment. He that keepeth again. his commandments. Come on. Dwelleth in him. Birth, and he in him. Dwelleth in him and he in him. Talk about you dwell in Christ word. and Christ How dwells in, Christ? in you. How do you get in Christ? Read this again. You don't get in Christ by keeping a bunch and of And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him and he in him. And hereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he had given us. How do you get the spirit? First John chapter 2. How do you get the spirit, bro? How First do you get John that? chapter 2. Come on, man. You got to be First again. John chapter 2. Verse 2. Oh, two, two, two. First John. 2 verse 3 and hereby we know that we know him how do we know him how do we know we know God if we keep his commandment it didn't say born again it said do what if we keep his commandment because guess what keeping God's commandments is the born again process that's the born uh, that's the process of being born again if you are a if you are a, a drunkard, you missing it. Guess what? You don't get drunk no more. Why? Right. Because that's the law. That's if right. you are a liar, you don't lie no more. Read this again. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Right. He that said, I know him. He that saith, I know him, you don't and keep it not his commandments, and don't keep commandment one. Is breaking the Sabbath day as we really? speak. But he is Come a on. It's a liar. 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 Read it again. It's a liar. It's a liar. God said, if you do not keep not his Jews, commandments man, no. and you say you I know him, you are a lot. Do you keep the tent? Do you keep the tent? He fulfilled it. Do you keep the tent? No. Do you keep the tent? He is the fullness of all of that. And the righteousness. What verse? Of what verse? It's not a of what verse? It's revealed in the It's not a matter of verse. It's not a matter of a verse. Read it for yourself. It's not a matter of a verse. You gotta read it for yourself, bro. Is it not it's not a matter of a verse, huh? It's simple. John 14. That Jesus became the fullness of the Sabbath. Okay, let's he see what Christ said himself. John chapter Jesus 14. Let's see what Christ said himself. He is the let's see what Christ said himself. John 14, verse 6. Who said we are Jews? No, 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 no. We're Jews not in the flesh. John 14, 15. I got verse on that. No, no, no. Hold on, brother. I, 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 I want you to listen. Ed Shannon, Ed Shannon, Ed Shannon, Ed Shannon. Oh, now you're selective. Now you're a selective verse puller. Now you're selective. You're not dealing with him. You still out of order. You still out of order. No, you talking to me. You still out of order. That's because you hate God. Because you hate God. I love you. John 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Read it again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Explain that, brother Ad Shannon. Explain that out of Christ's mouth, brother Ed Shannon. No, you're, you're dealing with me. Explain it, brother Ed Shannon. I can hear you. First of all, in that day and that time, 
Oh, everything's in that day and that time. Why, okay. why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Was rape in the Bible at that time? Oh, come on, bro. Was rape in the Bible yeah, at that rape, time? Rape is in all of our nature. Bro. Was rape in the Bible at that rape time? Rape is in all of our nature, bro. Come on, let's stop. I didn't ask you that. I I'm said, was rape in the Bible I'm at that time? Why? It's a yes or no stop. question. Rape? You serious? Yes or no? Rape? Why? Really? Yes or no? Really? Yes or no? Why are you asking? Yes or no? Oh, come on, man. You hate God, read. Really. I hate God because I can't answer you. Because you can't answer a yes or no man, question. That's come why. On, come on, John 14. And you don't want to use the Bible. Come That's on, why. But you say you love God. God says the test came back. That's a lie. Right. right. That's a lie. Right. The right. detective came back. Pastor, it's a lie. Right. right. Read. Check it out. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Is, are we reading red letters? Yes. Does that mean we're speaking Jesus Christ's words himself? Right. Yes. Read it again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Brother Art Shannon, yes. we are not trying to bash you. But if you keep coming at us with foolishness, you're going to get destroyed with the word of God. No, I'm not. That's right. No, I'm not. We're going to destroy you with the word of God. Teach up. You can't do that. That's impossible. We are out here to teach our people to repent. We're teaching you to repent. Right. Christ came and taught to repent. Right. Go back to Luke. Go to, go to, go to John chapter 3. Find me that. We shall all likewise perish. I think that's Luke 4. Luke 13 and 3. Go to Luke chapter 13. You're right. Jesus Christ didn't condemn. We don't condemn. Well, you just contradict but yourself. we will tell you you will be judged right. if you don't repent. We right. all going to be judged. You too. Luke 13 oh, verse 3. Bring it up. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent. Verse 1. Verse 1. There were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifice. There were Israelites that Esau, the so-called white man, killed. Come on. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. I tell you nay, but except... Uh-oh, we're reading red letters, but I tell you nay, Aunt Shannon. But except ye repent, but except you repent, Aunt Shannon, Except you repent, Aunt Shannon, come on. Ye shall all likewise perish. You shall likewise, watch, watch out, watch out, watch out. Brother Aunt Shannon, are you listening? No. Did you, yeah, because you ain't listening all day. You have not listened to the word of God all day. You hate God. You hate God. Isaiah chapter 9. You hate God. No. No, because if you love God, you'd hear his words. If you love God, you'd be listening to his words. You ain't open that book all day. Except to try to contradict. Isaiah 9 and 16. Isaiah 9 verse 16. Bring it up. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. For the lead, you repent at Shannon. Repent at Shannon. You got to get your household in order. You got to put on fringes and keep the Sabbath day. You got to make sure your wife is wearing a dress. Right. That's not right. dressing out of order. Right. That's up to you. That's up to you. That's for you. That's for you. Why, why, would, you, why would you allow it? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you allow? You, why wouldn't you put your household in order? Why wouldn't you put your household in order to make sure to make sure that your wife or my wife, for that matter, let's say my wife, to make sure that my wife, I'm gonna make sure my wife it does not enable sin. I'm gonna make sure that my wife does not dress immodest so that she does not provoke. And Shannon, and Shannon, listen, and, and Shannon, listen, and Shannon, listen. I'm gonna make sure that my wife does not dress immodestly. And Shannon, I'm going to, no, 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 don't over talk. One second, one second. I'm going to make sure that my wife does not enable this brother, this brother, you. I'm going to make sure not, no, you can, yes. You can, yes. Why would you allow, why would you allow, why would I allow any woman to dress like a man? Why would I allow, by showing thighs and legs? By showing legs and thighs? By showing legs and thighs, why would you? That's for, that's supposed to be for you. That's supposed to be for you. So you, so I would. Why would I want my wife? Why would I want my wife to come out showing everything? Y'all simple, man. Y'all simple, out here. Come on, read what you got. Isaiah nine verse sixteen. Bring it out. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. You got you got brothers like Aunt Shannon that are going out in the streets teaching people this BS. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have 
baby mamas and baby daddies running rampant in their communities. You got black men that are out here trying to raise the nation, trying to build up our communities, and you got black people like Ed Shannon trying to tear it down right. out of pride. Read it again. For the leaders of these people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. And other black people that follow black people like Ed Shannon are going to be what? Are destroyed. Are destroyed. Right. You're destroyed. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.